Hey guys, what's up? My name is Morgan and today I'll be doing a review on the site called Hair Vivi. Um, they sell all different types of wigs. Um, and sorry, you gotta excuse me because I just got my eyebrows done. So they look really crazy right now. And you know how with the, um, the microblading and the ombre powder brows, they always come out super dark. Um, but anyway, I was gonna show you um, the ins and the outs of these wigs and why I love them so much. Um, as somebody that's had um, a lot of bad experience with wigs before, this is by far the best wig company that I've personally found. Um, I know everybody has like, you know, their different opinions and um, I've seen you know, some people say that they didn't like the company, but my personal experience um, has been nothing but fantastic. And I wanna explain why today and um, why I would 100% recommend this brand. First, let me start off with my story. Um, so I am a 27 year old and I live in uh, Virginia. Um, and I have always had a, long, hard self-hatred battle with my hair. And um, it's just like, I never accepted it. Um, I didn't accept my natural curls and I was always like trying to straighten it to fit in at school. Um, and also um, I always wanted to experiment with like dyeing it and straightening it. And it seems like over the years after impulsiveness of dyeing it and um, bleaching it, you know, um, even the few times that I did it in my life, it really kind of changed the integrity of my hair and my hair texture was no longer the same. Um, and I was like looking up all these things of how to restore it. Um, I started wearing extensions at the age of 18. Um, I would do like the clip in extensions. Um, and then as I got older and I found out about more methods, um, I got into like the hand tied hair extensions and tape ins, which I hated the tape ends, but the hand tied hair extensions were kind of like my go to. Um, but that got, got kind of like expensive having to do that every month um, or not every month, but you would have to go every like three to four weeks and have them moved up. And it just got kind of expensive. And honestly, like my hair was not like matching with the hair extensions very well. So I'm like, you know, why am I paying all this money to do something that I don't even like really fully like and I also like didn't accept my hairline like I had um I didn't just I just did not like my hair and my hairline and so then I was introduced to the world of wigs um and at this point I started like buying from different companies and um I didn't have very good luck um, I guess I just didn't really know like what I was looking for at the time and I was just starting out experimenting and I found things about wigs that I didn't like, like the density or the construction of the cap, things like that. And every um, company is different. So you just really have to kind of like find um, your favorite company and how they make their wigs. Um, so anyway, um, after going through like, I wanna say, months and months of trying to find like the perfect wig a lot of money was spent and you know i had nothing to show for it now and it just it really is bothersome because we all know that you know once you start to um, alter the wig cut the lace you can't return it um, a lot of places also won't offer custom returns as well so anyway um after being screwed over by um, this wig company recently within um, the end of last year, I finally was on a mission to find the perfect wig company. And at this point, I, um, over the summer, made the decision um, impulsively to shave my hair. Um, my hair was kind of like, I want to say the, the hand tied hair extensions were making my hair um, kind of fall out. I was getting a lot of like thinning through the front of my hair. I had a lot of breakage. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna shave my head because, you know, the wigs would look better. And I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. And um, immediately after I did it, it was very scary for me. Um, looking at myself in the mirror, 
um, it was almost like I was in shock. Like, it wasn't like I regretted it, but I was like, wow, I actually did it, you know? Um, and then soon, like, I want to say it took a little while to set in before I really kind of like started regretting it. Um, but that was mostly because I couldn't find um, a good wig that made me feel happy and confident. And Finally, I did. Um, I did some more wig research, and um, I noticed that you know a lot of the wig companies that are catered toward Caucasian women, um, as opposed to African American women, um, they're just very expensive. Um, you know, you really can't find one for for less than like a thousand dollars, for what it seems, in my opinion. Um, also, too, you know, I felt like the the wigs that I've tried in the past that um, were like catered to more African American women, they were more cost effective. But the problem was, was, you know, their lace color did not match my skin tone. Um, and of course, I wanted to make sure that I was wearing, um, you know, my own hair type. And so anyway, I was doing research and I found this girl on YouTube that did um, a review on this site called Hair VV. Um, she, it's called The Art of Alopecia if you want to check her out. She's pretty, she's pretty good. Um, she's got like a lot of different reviews. Um, her story really, you know, touches people. She's just all around an amazing person. Um, and she's kind of even helped me, you know, um, and talked to me about, you know, wig advice and stuff like that. So anyway, I found them and I decided to try them out. Now, this is when um, I, had at this point, done a lot of uh, research on YouTube videos um, revolving around reviews for them. And I mostly saw it was like a lot of African-American community kind of revolving around it. I saw some, um, you know, Caucasian women doing some reviews on them, but I felt like there wasn't like enough on there. Um, so I'm here to kind of give you a review um, from a Caucasian person on these wigs and let you know that it is possible for you to wear them. Um, but at the same time, what had happened was the first order I ever bought from them, I ordered the Addison wig. Um, and at the time, I never had, of course, I didn't know how their sizes worked. And I usually was like a medium in most wigs. Um, so I ordered the medium. And at this time, I didn't know about the color of the lace. Um, so with their company and their site, it's very, very, un it's very, very crucial that you understand how their lace coloring works. Um, it was a little confusing to me at first and I had to ask them like multiple times, but they were super, um, they were super like helpful with answering and they explained it to me. They were very patient with me. Um, basically with the constructions of these caps, they have, um, what you call, well, they're all lace front as of now. So you have the lace in the front. Um, they have 16 by four and they have 16 by six. Or, no, I'm sorry, 13 by four and 13 by six um, are the cap constructions that they offer. And there is something, um, there's an innovative technology that they've come up with where they put a fake scalp-like material in the wig, and I can actually show you um, what it looks like. If you've ever bought a wig from a company and noticed that it almost has like two layers of lace, um, that's basically what it is. It's just that second layer of lace to kind of give more, um, to hide your bio hair underneath, especially if you have dark hair. Um, and the good thing about their wigs is that you can remove them. Um, they're very lightly sewn on. So I've had a wig before where um, I was trying to take it off and I destroyed the lace on the wig because it was like sewn and like, like it, there was no getting it off. There was no taking it off. Um, but this one was very, very easy to remove. Cause me personally, um, I feel like they don't really like they don't provide much coverage for me so there's no point in keeping it on there 
but they also, and I'll get back to what I was going to tell you about the coloring, um, but they also offer um, something called True Scalp Tape, um, and they give you um, different colors to try. So you, if you were Caucasian, you would definitely go with the Honey color. Um, and that's what this fake scalp. So the fake scalp and the tape are going to be your honey, your cappuccino, and your mocha. Um, and I think there's like some other colors too, but honey is the lightest. So it would be for somebody that has fair skin. But that's just the name of the fake scalp and the tape. By the way, the tape for me personally is so much better than the fake scalp. Um, I use the tape personally, but you can do, you know, whatever you want. Um, but me personally, I like the, the, the tape. I feel like it's some of the best tape I've ever had because I've tried tape before as well from other companies. They have amazing tape. So anyway, um, sorry, I'm gonna spit my gum out. Um, so anyway, with this color system, um, you have to be mindful that they have certain wigs that only come in certain lace colors. So they do have um, what's called a Vivian wig. If you go on their site and you, um, they all have names. Um, they have the Vivian wig and I believe it's one more and I forgot the name of it, but um, you can go on their site or ask them. They um, communicate through WhatsApp or email. Um, and Vivian is um, like a Caucasian type wig. So um, it was made specifically for people that had lighter skin. So that wig um, comes with the lightest lace color that they have. So their lace colors are considered light HD lace, and that's going to be what matches the honey or the transparent light HD lace that fits beige skin tones. Then you have the light brown that would fit the cappuccino. Um, and with that first one that I'd gotten from them, it was a light brown. Before I had cut the lace on it, um, it looked like it was going to blend with my skin and the only issue that I had with that wig was it was too big for me So they do offer free returns. You don't even have to really like it could be just because you changed your mind um, Unless you don't do a customization to it You can return the wigs um, So I sent it back and I told them they even said they were like do you want to do the honey scalp? Like it'll be considered a custom order um, so you can't change it, but we can give you the smaller size and, um, you know, you can, um, it might match your skin tone better. And I said, well, from what I see, you know, the light brown lace looks like it'll fit. So I was like, just keep it at that. And also the honey does take a little bit longer and I kind of wanted something like right away. So I was like super impulsive. I was like, let's just, you know, stick to what I had, but let's just give me the small cap. Um, I did end up switching the style of the wig. Um, I switched it to Lillian on their website um, because the Addison, it was super pretty, but I don't know. I felt like maybe it was too thick for me because the Addison comes in 180 density um, and I wanted more of a thinner density. So I chose the, the Lillian, which is 160 density. And so anyway, I messaged them. They sent that to me. Um, and then when I cut the lace on it, instantly I knew it was too dark for me. Um, and that was like super disappointing because like once I cut the lace, you can't really return it. Um, so then I was like, okay, well I need to get one that has the transparent light lace for my skin, which is what I got. Um, and I'm actually wearing her now and I was going to show you my other wig too. Um, so that way I can show you the construction of the wig, the inside of the cap, how it works. Um, so anyway, this is the Bella on their website. And actually you can take it down because it has a little bit of like blonde in the front. This is their Bella wig. And let me tell you that, I mean, look at this scalp and hairline. Like, <clears throat> I cannot believe the quality of this. Like, the hairline, even with my hair, like I still have some bio hair like back here. Um, I guess if you get up really close, you can see a little bit, but that's where, see this is, I haven't removed the fake scalp in this one, um, but I plan on removing it and using the fake scalp tape because like I said, I feel like that gives me personally more coverage. I curled this like a few days ago and I haven't washed it and it still has curls in it. 
Um, this one cost me, so the first one I paid for, the Lillian, um, I paid 500 for it. Um, I'm actually selling that one, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, you know, usually if you wear like bronzer with it, you can definitely have it fit your skin. But me personally, I just wanna be able to throw it on and not wear makeup. So definitely would like to sell that one. I'd sell it for 400. Um, but anyway, so I have this and um, it is Brazilian hair tech, you know, it's the Brazilian hair type. I think my other one is Indian virgin hair, but the Brazilian I paid, um, a little extra for, I paid an extra 160. Um, so my total spent in this wig was probably like 600 something. That's still like not bad. I mean, compared to what I was spending my money on, um, like $1,600 for a lace front wig from other websites. I just couldn't believe that the quality and the price of these wigs, it was just mind blowing. This has looked better than any of the other wigs that I've had that I spent over a thousand dollars on. And um, I can show you the back. So this is the back. It's super long, so their measurements, this is considered 20 inches on their website. I'm five foot four um, and a half, and I can even kind of stand up and show you, you know, how long it, it is on me. Um, it's just, it's insane because um, I feel like personally, they have, um, they measured from the nape down. So, and a lot of wig companies only measure from the, um, the hairline down. So you get longer hair. So this is probably like 22 inches, honestly. <clears throat> so you get more hair with their wigs. Um, the Lillian wig that I have, I actually cut because it was too long. I ordered 22 inches and it was more like 24 inches. So I um, I had her trimmed a little bit and then had um, some long layers added into her to make her look more, um, you know, realistic and stuff. This one I didn't do anything to. Um, I didn't cut this, I didn't layer this, and I don't even need to. Like this one is already perfect. Um, as it is, but yeah, let, real quick up close of the hairline. Okay. This has no filters. You can see my tape, but y'all, I, I mean, I, I can't, I can't even get over how blessed I am to have found this wig company. Um, and not to mention, I wanted to, um, say how phenomenal their customer service is. I've been speaking with someone in the customer service department over um, WhatsApp, and she has been nothing but helpful to me this whole entire process. Um, she has given me a lot of advice. She's answered all my questions. Um, they've even given me um, like $40 off for being a loyal customer. Definitely going to start purchasing all my wigs from that company. I'm never again going to buy another wig from another wig company ever again. Um, me personally, I think it's the best wig company. Um, now I know everybody has their own opinions, but with my, you know, um, and by the way, this is not a paid review at all. Um, I'd actually would like to be an influencer for them, um, but I don't have enough like followers and stuff. So this is completely my review, like an unpaid, non-sponsored, just someone that bought their wig and found out about the company and was blown away. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to show you um, what the packaging looks like and what the wig looks like on the inside. So you kind of can see what it looks like on the outside. But like I said, yeah, I literally curled this like days ago and it still has a curl in it. Like what? Like, oh my God, some, I've had some wigs that won't even hold a curl. Like it won't even hold one. Um, the hair's like super soft. So anyway, um, and then this is the lightest lace that they offer. Um, so you just have to make sure that if you're um, like a light skin or you're um, Caucasian, you know, if you're tan, you could probably get away with the light brown HD, but 
definitely if you're fair skinned like me, you want to make sure that you message them directly to tell them that you need the, the lightest uh, lace. So it looks like this. It came in this packaging. Very nice packaging. Um, you know, just kind of like every other wig company that costs over a thousand dollars. And then you get the scalp tape. Um, this is actually the box that I'm selling. Um, so with the wig in it and the wig that I'm selling. So if anybody's interested in this, um, cause I've been having a lot of questions about, um, you know, how more details about the wig that I'm selling. So I'm going to show you all that today. Um, so this is what I'll give you. Now you probably won't be able to use these, um, if you have like lighter skin, but these ones would be the ones that you would use. Um, but this is the one that does have the darker lace um, than what I have on now. But if you use bronzer or you, um, I actually include, um, this is not what they gave to me, but I bought this online. Um, it's the lace tint in light beige. If you spray that on the lace, it actually lightens the lace. And I can show you an example of um, that. You have to be very careful though. Um, what I find is that when I'm spraying that on, here's another one too. When I spray that on, you flip the cap inside out and then you um, spray it on the lace. You have to be like very careful because sometimes it'll like leak over to the other side and then you'll have like these like looks like white powdery roots. Um, it's almost kind of like if you overuse um, dry shampoo, it kind of looks like that. Um, but that could be easily fixable if you just take some water and a, um, a comb and kind of just try to like get some of that out but not touch the lace. Um, also, it comes, they gave me, uh, they also give always, like they always give some sort of free like gift. Um, they even sent me an apology letter when um, it took a little bit longer for me to get um, this wig due to like the holidays and stuff so the fact that the customer service is just unreal and um, you know I just can't get over how nice they are um, and they're always giving away free gifts so I got like these scrunchies um, and then I got um, this device where you can create like baby hairs and stuff um, so it's kind of like a, a razor and a brush, but honestly you can I've seen people like use this to like Shave their face like their peach fuzz or like wax, you know, kind of do their eyebrows Like you can use it for multiple things. You don't have to just use it for the wig So there's that that's all included in what I am giving away um, at one point they sent me like a necklace too, which um, I'll probably just put in there too for you guys, whoever gets this, whoever buys it. Okay, so this is the Lillian wig, okay? And before I send it off, I'm gonna wash it. So I apologize if it looks a little like weird, but this is the Lillian wig and I will wash it and curl it and um, style it for you so that way it doesn't look so crazy. Um, and this actually has the um, the tape in it. But honestly, like I am conversing with um, Hair VV um, through WhatsApp and I'm trying to find out. So they do, another thing that's cool about the company is that they offer something called um, replaceable hairlines. And basically what that is, is they, um, each specific wig comes with a replaceable hairline that you can buy on their website for like a hundred and some dollars. And what you do is you, um, you buy that and then you can take off the front part of the wig. Like if you don't like the hairline or the hairline, like if hair is starting to kind of like, um, you know, the hairline will lose um, like hair over time. So you can replace that. Um, if they, as of now, they only have replaceable hairlines in that, in this, um, light brown color. But if they, um, offer, if they start to offer the, the transparent lace, uh, I was probably going to keep this, um, waiting to hear back today from, um, so she's going to talk to the production manager. Um, but I might keep this because I really like, I think that she's gorgeous. Um, she's got a gorgeous color on her. Um, and I just really like her. This was the one that was probably like 24 inches, but now it's literally like the same as this one. Like it's literally the same length. Um, I personally just feel like this wig is phenomenal. So I'll kind of get up close and show you, um, 
you know, this hairline. So yeah, like it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm trying to kind of show you um, the best way that I can. I'm trying to put it against skin. See, there you go. But see, you probably, um, I'm thinking I might need to maybe bleach the knots again. Um, but I, I think that the actual lace itself is maybe a little too dark for me. Um, but I could always try like bleach the knots and see if that would help. And this does have the honey fake scalp. Um, not the honey fake scalp because I took it out, but the scalp tape. So that um, this was what was in there. And like I said, you can put it back in if you want, really. Um, but this is what the inside of the cap looks like. So this is a 16 by, um, or a 13 by 6. That is so much. Like, literally look at that. Some of the wigs that I've had before are, like, even less space than that. And they claim that they're the same. This is the, um, how it looks from the top. I just can't get over how good this looks. Like, if you guys want me to put it on, I will. I will put it on off camera because I'm a little self-conscious of um, putting this wig on um, and showing my head. But um, basically what I do as well too is I, um, I tape the sides down. So these sides right here, I don't really use this in, part like this insert the strap I don't use that but it does come with that it also comes with these little um clips that you can hook to get at the bottom those are the ones that I use and then I just use some walkers blue walkers tape um if I can actually show you what it looks like they sell them on Amazon They're they are a little expensive but um you know I'm sure I could find it cheaper somewhere else but yeah so that's what I put like on the sides and that kind of like holds my hair down. Like as you see, I have them taped down. But yeah, I mean, this is such a beautiful wig. And then like I said, the inside looks like that. Um, I did have to replace this and um, I couldn't find this one, but it's the same exact thing. I replaced it from another wig because it came off. Um, it did come off. So I sewed that back on pretty well. Um, but yeah, and then I have this fake scalp tape in there, which you can take off. But yeah, it, it's amazing. Um, but like I said, I think somebody that has a little bit of a darker complexion than me or somebody that doesn't mind like putting bronzer on every day when you wear this, it would benefit you. Um, like I said, I really want to keep it, um, but I'm waiting, like I'm going to wait to see if they can give me an HD um, transparent light lace to wear with this but yeah that's that's it it's beautiful the back and I probably um, I don't know if I'm gonna put it on right now just because I'd have to take this tape off and everything but um, you basically just kind of put it on like any other wig you know if you want to use this um, it'll strap to the other side, but I still feel like even with that, you still need to use um, a little bit of like tape on the sides. Um, so the double tape, double sided tape, which is the walkers. Um, also too, you could use glue, but personally I don't like glue. I stay away from glue because I feel like it sometimes um, interferes with the quality of the wig, but yeah, um, the hair is pretty soft. Um, like I said, you're, it looks really bad right now because I have to wash it and style it, but yeah, that's basically that. Um, so this one is for sale as of now, um, if anyone wants it <clears throat> and I would, like I said, sell it for like 400 or 450, whatever. Um, and it comes in this silk bag anyway, like I said, if you haven't purchased from this wig company yet, please do and take it from somebody that like has had bad experiences with other wigs. And, um, you know, I've been screwed over out of thousands of dollars with other wig companies. And just to know that I've found one finally that I can, um, you know, feel confident in and pretty in and have good customer service, great hairline. Some wigs I've gotten didn't even pluck the hairline very well, even though they said they were. Like this part line is perfect. 
um, I told them what I wanted. I mean, they come good anyway, but like I told them that I wanted this hairline and they did it for me. Um, and like I said, if you want to see the back, um, that's kind of what it looks like. So if you have like the bio hair with the lace wigs, the lace front wigs, it is a little bit hard to like, to wear your hair up because you've got like, you know, um, it's got the wefts and stuff. I'm trying to show you the, the wefts if I can. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, it's basically the weft, the wefted kind. Um, which I, they're gonna start carrying full lace in the future, they said. Um, so I'm definitely waiting out for that because definitely gonna jump on that when they um, come out with that. But yeah, so I um, go ahead and give them a, um, a check out, you know, go ahead, check their website. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message them. They're super helpful. And yeah, so go get yourself a Hair VV wig. Thanks.